Okay, so let's start modeling our table. We've got the plate, wine glass, knife, fork, and spoon all modeled and they're hidden. And let's make a table for them to go on. Now, it was quite sad. I just measured my dining room table because I thought, let's model this to scale. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, basic primitive, let's start with a cube. Okay, let's go to the attribute editor. And if you click, make sure poly cube is clicked, you can then determine the width. So right now it's one centimeter. Now I know the width of my table was 145. And the height, that's the thickness of the tabletop really, was five centimeters. And then the depth or the sort of length as I was calling it is 100 centimeters or just over a meter, but I'll go with 100. So if we zoom out, there we go. That's that's the kind of size of my tabletop. So let's now. It was also seventy centimeters off the ground. So how do I know if I how do I raise it up exactly seventy centimeters? Well, if we go to the channel box, make sure our move to we've got a move tool, and look what happens over here in the translate Y. As we do that, it moves up. So that's twenty two centimeters has moved up. So all I need to do is click in there and go seventy. So I now know. Yes, our grid is really small, but remember, those are only centimeters down there. Um, I now know that's model to scale. Okay, so that's cool. I want to now add the legs to my table. So what I'm going to do to do that is go to Mesh Tools and insert edge loop. I'm not going to be picky with the measurements. I didn't measure my table legs, to be honest. Um, and so I'm going to insert an edge loop here and an edge loop here. Then one by here and one by here. So we'll have a face to extrude down. I'm going to do the same this side, one by here and one by here. And now this side, I just need edge loop by there, edge loop by there. So what I've got is I've now got four faces to extrude down. So let's do that. I'm going to go right click and face, click, hold shift, click, click, click. In fact, I'm thinking that though these faces by here are a little bit too narrow. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go to edge and I'm going to double click this edge here and it should select it all the way around. Okay. And I'm actually in this instance, I'm going to move it a bit to the right just to make them a bit more square. If you, you may not have to do that, but I just wanted to. So let's go back to face and we, yeah, we've got those selected. Make sure no others are. Okay. And what we can do now is we can hit control E and we can extrude downwards and we've got the, the legs of our table so that one's you know that one's quite easy to be honest let's go a little bit further again i'm not gonna oh, what i could do is i could turn on snap to grid and they'll then snap just like that or they'll move in more sort of chunks if you kind of get me but yeah look i'm not going to make sure i don't mind if it's not exactly aligned with the grid you don't have to turn that on um, i just fancy doing it so anyway right we've got our table and you could leave it there it's a very basic table what i want to do is i want to see what happens if i turn smooth on so let's hit three for the smooth mesh preview and that's a little bit mental isn't it so this is where we want to insert some edge loops and if we hit two we'll also see that cage okay so one is our lobe is our normal poly version three is the smooth preview two is in between so if i want more of a sort of harsh i don't want this point okay i don't want it to bend like that i want more stuff so i need to add geometry to the towards the bottom so let's go mesh tools insert edge loop and let's insert one round about there i think and there you go you'll see that's happening now so i'll do it to the bottom of this one i'll do it to let's zoom in the bottom i uh, zoom out um uh, it's a little bit weird let's go to the bottom of this one and let's do it to this one as well there we go i also want to do it to the top because i just don't like that so let's with on this little cage just click round about there i won't go too high with this one there you go, you've got a nice little join there. And try and get a similar height and something like that. Yeah, that's lovely. And same this side and same this side. There we go. So now we've got a smooth table. The edges are kind of, they're all right, but maybe they're a little bit too smooth, those edges. So if, if they are, what you can do is come in, get an edge loop and just go like that and push one towards that end. Yeah, that's kind of looking a little bit nicer. Um, and then push one towards this end and one towards this end. There we go. So now if I, what I can do is get my select tool, 
right click object mode and I'll just hit three okay so this is our smooth table now not a huge fan of this what I could have done is I could go back to one I could double click go to edge sorry double click this and if I move it up so hit W I'm just going to move this specific edge up double click in it selected it all the way around if I now I've moved it quite a bit up then if I go back to object mode and hit three you'll see this one has got less of a sort of curve than this one so that's something you can do and so let's just do that for all of them you don't have to but I I want to so edge double click hold shift double click hold shift double click let's just pan around and make sure we've got all just all those edges yet yeah. so now with all of them in view let's move up and okay let's move it back down a bit um, those two are high enough this one was obviously further down so click off double click to select it move it up and maybe double click that one so it's just that one move that up yeah now if we go back to object mode hit three we've got less of a kind of curvature there and that's that's looking nice so yeah that's our table basic table modeled and um, first of all let's just go double click in the outliner call it table and let's also select the model edit delete all by type history and that just deletes all the historical stuff we did to it and yeah there we've got our table and now we can select all of these hit Control h sorry shift h to turn them back on and you can bring them up and start laying them out on the table um i will do that in the next video though or in a, in a future video whichever one i can't remember which one comes next so yeah, hope that helped you guys model a table and I shall see you in the next tutorial.